G'day everyone, Richard Walding here. Just going to have a look at the um, strength of a magnetic field versus the current in a solenoid. So if you have a look at this, <coughs> here's the setup I'm going to use. Now I'm using a um, just a digital multimeter as my ammeter. Now that's set on amps, so that'll give a reading in amps. Where is it? There we are. Um, I'm using a, a little um, Tesla meter or a magnetic field strength meter here um, you'll see and that'll be reading in milli tesla and here's the little probe from the end of it um, you can see a little hall effect probe on the end okay and i'll be using a just an air cord solenoid um, you can see it's just hollow in the middle and i'll be putting the um, the sensor in the end there just to measure the strength Okay, let's have a look. I've just got this as a video um, and we'll see how we go. Now, you can see I'm collecting data um, at different voltages. There it is to start with. Background, I've zeroed it. There's a little zero button there. So that's zeroed the um, Tesla meter or the you know, field strength meter. Now, that's 0.399 amps running through that. And you saw the reading there. Now I've turned it up to 4 volts, I'm getting a reading of 0.747 and a Tesla, a reading for the field strength in millitesla. Okay, now if you want to you can take these readings down and um, plot this yourself. But um, there it is at 8 volts, 1.4 amps going through it. it over, the overload comes in at about 5 amps, so I've got plenty of limitations. You just worry about the heat in the um, in the solenoid, and there it is at 12 volts. I'm getting 2.2 amps and about 2.37 milli tesla. Okay, right. Now I'll just go into the next slide where I plot that. Okay. Now <clears throat> you can see it's it's um, it's looking fairly linear when you think about it. Look, we're going here at 0.4 of an amp. It's about 0.4 milli tesla. I go up to almost double that, and I'm getting almost double the um, the strength of the magnetic field. So let's plot that and see how we go. Okay, and there's a nice little plot. Now you'll notice how beautifully the data fits the, um, or beautifully the line fits the data. It's a nice linear relationship. It almost goes through zero. You can see the intercept there is 0.0017. Okay, a little bit of background, um, or not background, but a little bit of fluctuation really in the um, in the in the reading at the start when I zeroed it. The R squared value. Look at that. That's amazing. That's right on the line. So the data fits the uh, the equation and the data match really well. Okay, so not much in the way of error bars there. Okay, well that's about all. Um, all I did was work out the gradient, which is 1.0792. Now that's B on I, and if you think of the equation for a solenoid, B equals N K I. Okay, or in terms of mu, you'd have to um, use a formula, but um, you can work out how many, what the value of N is, the number of turns per meter using that formula and um, let's see what you get. If I move that sensor around inside the coil of the solenoid, it goes all over the place. So you, I find the strongest reading you can get is right at the end. Okay, so basically the whole aim of that was to show that B is proportional to I and it is beautifully. Okay, we're finished. All, all done.